Todd's case has pretty much been over with now. Um, the Sarah Bullion, of course, stopped when she took her own life. Um, people on her Facebook page still change mean things to her because they don't like her. You know, high school is can be a rite of passage for some people. Uh, in other words, it's it's like you know you look upon these people, you know, um, like they walk on water. Four years later, they're working at Burger King flipping burgers. So it, it kind of goes to show you that how much is really how popular we are in high school. You know, the social butterflies of high school are you not the ones who make million dollars. They're the ones who make a minimum wage and some dead end job somewhere because they let all this. Well, I'm better than everybody else. I'm 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 gonna sort of walk on through there and get my stuff and then end up going to college. Probably getting a degree or maybe dropping out, failing because of, you know they too much party and stuff. I mean, you know, it's and man, I had no case was way different than us. She flashed herself some pervert. He threatened her, blackmailed her. He wanted a, a couple of dances from her. She said no. He went ahead and um, put the pictures, the picture of, of a snapshot of her doing her little, her little exposing her chest to this guy. Weirdo, sicko. <clears throat> um, and he went ahead and sent it around the world anyway. About Christmas break of the next year, of that year, uh, she got a knock on the door. Please said the uh, picture circulated all the friends. A lot of her friends kind of complained to the police. A couple of school teachers got it also. Uh, so I've heard. So they can. Uh, they called the authorities. And they went to hear her and, and called her about this. So now, she has all these people all these people um, they're ridiculing her for doing something that people do every day. There's not a teen girl, there's not a girl out there. A woman out there. No, unless you walk on water. Unless you you know, you know, are not that insecure yourself who haven't shown themselves online. To boyfriend, to husband, to people online. Uh, I can't because, you know, I'm not very attractive, so, you know. And I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm beautiful in God's eyes, and I understand that. But, you know, by the whole thing, I'm not, I'm not attractive in the way of the uh, social media attractive. I'm not some... Brad Pitt, Jamie, and Lady Jolie kind of crap. But anyway, though, she was treated like garbage from people, so-called friends. Uh, the warning signs were there. The warning signs were there, blaring loud and clear. This girl is going on that path. That's going to end up having a game over type of thing. I'm a gamer, so game over or the end. And it ain't, ain't going to be the, uh, you know, John Wayne, Grace Kelly, or... Whoever it is, going off and sons of together on a, on, a, on a horse. You know, that's not the kind of ending that we're talking about. The ending of her being found hanging like a damn uh, pinata, or having had a bolt, had had a bolt through her head, or having drugs in her body, and she just you know, you know, whatever, you know, whatever people like that are. You know, there's probably so many ways to do stuff like that to yourself. You know, to, you know, to do a, a, a self-termination, that ain't funny. And I'm not going to discuss them, because I don't want to put anybody in their mind to do that kind of stuff. I just gave a few off that have happened over the years, in the last 20, 30 years, that, that teens and young adults and adults have done. But, I, but I'm no way current to anybody to do that stuff. It's not funny. It's not right. It's sick and disgusting. Um... But she did something that, looking back at it now, 2020, if she's still alive, yeah, it was it was dumb. But she did it because she wanted friends. Personally, if I want friends, I go outside and meet them. But these kids, they have, have had Twitter, they have phones, they have Twitter on them, Facebook, Skype. I mean, you can sit there and you can sit there and talk to somebody you know, who's over in you know Bangkok on a phone, talking to them like I'm talking to you right now. And that's scary. 20 years ago, you couldn't do that unless you had a computer sitting in front of you. Most laptops couldn't even operate a camera to do that. 
So you get to do it on a big bulky computer. Now you, you, you now you can do it on a tablet, a phone, phone is the size of a damn uh, MP3 player. Talk to people around the world. Oh, while you're going grocery shopping, I hope you ain't dry when you're doing this. But these teens today, and man, man, that will, uh, I was included in this, including this. Uh, we have no idea if if, you, if you're above the age of 30 years old right now. Like I am. You have no clue how, how hard it is for these teenagers. 25, you kind of do. Because it kind of came out when you're going, when you graduate in high school. If you're younger than that, then you definitely are living the, uh... <clears throat> and it's sad, though. Because you guys don't get it. Nobody gets it. That she's dead and she's not coming back. And she won't come back. You know? And that's the issue. She's not coming back. And I don't think people are finally setting in now that. And it's and it's and it's sick and disgusting to think about that people actually are Cheering that she's dead because she's made a mistake. Everybody makes mistakes. We shouldn't have to pay for them that way. Yeah, okay, fine, fine. You know, send her, you know, to juvie for decent exposure. Fine, whatever. Find that nut who's doing it and just beat the snot out of him. You know, that blackmailer. And it's very sad, though, actually, <clears throat> that people do not sit there and want to believe that you know, oh, you know, it never could happen. I'm not saying I'm sorry, Amanda, because I'm not sorry because she caused her, she caused part of this, and you know, even her mother said that, um, you know, it was on her. She, you know. Maybe because her, her disability, she'll learn disabled uh, with ADHD or whatever it was. And maybe she'll understand right off the bat that, you know, it was, it was difficult. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe... Maybe, maybe somewhere down the line, that her friends who stood by her and some friends who just you know, left her because, you know, they thought it was no big deal with her. Look back at now and think, damn, maybe I should have done more. I mean, damn, I didn't do enough. Or that one girl who left four hours before she did commit this horrible act. Do you think she'll still be sitting there in her friend's room waiting for her mom to come home? But then again, no, I've always been told, and I found out this for a long time, if people are so determined to kill themselves, their mind, like, hey, I'm done with this crap, it's very hard to tell them in your way. Change their mind. I want to pause about that for a second there. I want you to pause with that and look at that and examine yourself. And say, yeah, you know, I, you know, no, your Johnny did kill himself a couple months ago, a couple of years ago, or my girlfriend did, you know, jump off a bridge because I, you know, misinterpreted something to her, or she's going through a lot of emotional problems or whatever, whatever like that. The examples. How much do you do to help them? I don't mean you take a Bible and beat them with the head with it because you can beat them with whatever you want. You know, if they don't accept it, then, you know, they don't accept it. And then it's just the way it is. But it'll take God. It'll take the Holy Spirit coming into them. To literally change their mind. Because that's the only thing that has truth and righteousness in this world. Everything else, me, you, everybody else is full of garbage. And that's just the way it is. 
we're all full of crap. And people who are victims of this and who make the choice to end their life know it. Because they have it in their heart. And it's a very dangerous thing to have. If anybody who has thoughts like that, you need to seek help. Get out there. Yeah, it's too late for Amanda and the rest of them who made their choices. I'm sick and tired of hearing this stuff. I'm sick and tired of hearing you, you jump on the bandwagon of Amanda Todd and the rest of them. Because they're already dead and they don't need your help anymore. Help the people who are sitting in school, sitting at work, at home, at church. You know very well they're on the, are, are on the edge of slipping. Help those people. Pray for them. Befriend them. Don't tear them down. Everybody's tearing them down. Build them up, brick by brick. You could be the reason why that, that they stay on this planet. Because once you die, it's over for you. For all of us. You, me, person on YouTube, person sitting at home watching this right now. It, do, it doesn't matter if you, if you think you're righteous or not. The fact is, a right man doesn't enter heaven. Righteous is neither. You have to know Christ. If you don't know him, then God doesn't know you. And you can help all ladies cross you all you want. You can do, you can volunteer to Boy Scouts. You can you, you can stir you can stir out soup. You know, like you know like a machine. But if you don't know Christ, then you're nothing, because you know nothing, and God doesn't know you. You have to understand that we are living in an age where the enemy, Satan, or enemy, the bullies. Enemy of the world, what do you want to call it? Enemy in your mind, in your heart, is destroying people. And these teenagers need a united front. These teens do not have they do not have the same understanding. As I do. You know, maybe they, maybe they got broken home. Man tied, mother and father. Separated. Sorry, the clock is going off now. I'm just going to need that for a couple seconds, so. Um. I'm going to let the clock go through this little chiming music here. But. Kind of remiss of, uh, of, uh, of whom the bell tolls, you know what I mean? It tolls for the, the bell. For, um, for whom the bell tolls, you know what I mean? Um, and, I'm, and I'm not against people doing that stuff. I'm against people thinking it's the only way out and not thinking. I'm, a, I'm not against people for taking their life. Because I believe it's a free choice. You do what you want. God's giving you free will to do what you want. You want to jump in front of a car? Go ahead, go do it. But don't, but don't sit there and cry in front of God say, I didn't know. You know, because you know, everybody has a right to know. It's put, put on TV, websites, everything else. God's love is everywhere. And people just don't want to listen to it. And that what sickens me about the whole situation. You blame God for the little nitpicking thing. Then when you need him, you cry out to him. I'm like, I'm sorry. You know, it may have tied, no, if she was here today, she'd probably tell you, your suicide's wrong and stupid. But she can't, because she's dead. Tied her along, the man of Todd's, the ties, you know, the, you know, the high smitties. These three people have made a choice and they're gone. And it's sad that they're gone. But sometimes, you have, we must learn from their choices. From their, we must learn from their mistakes. We must learn from what they have done to grow beyond what happened. So we don't make the same mistakes they did. I'm not blaming Ty Smitty for his problems. He was picked on because some, some kid you know, wouldn't leave him alone. Wouldn't, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't just let him be. Be himself. Just be his own little happy butterfly and fly around be himself. Had to keep tearing him down, gentle he got, because that because that punk didn't have anything else better to do, and that's what it was. Uh, Tyler Long had a, you know, he 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 had a you know depression, bipolar. Was bullied, was not bullied, don't know. 
left suicide note, I read the note. The note, you know, it didn't say anything about bullying. It said about, you know, no, he couldn't take it anymore, anything like that. And it could be turned, you know, interpreted into many ways. But I'm sick and tired of people jumping on these bandwagons when people are already dead. Jumping on the bandwagon are still here. And it's sad though, actually. It's really sad that we leave, that uh, we live in a world that we only jump on things when they happen. You know, it's like a, you know, like a bunch of Nostradamus. You know, we're a bunch of small, you know, Nostradamuses. We only know what's going on after the fact. Never right then and there. Okay, fine then. You now the police feel man Todd. Okay, fine. The police feel man Todd. Parents feel man Todd. So-called friends feel feel man Todd. But the problem is, though, man Todd failed man Todd. She they she failed herself. Why I say that? It's because she had the power in here in here to know. Okay, fine, you know, trial and error learn. But she was learning. The fact is she wasn't taking anymore. And this cyber you know, this, this cyber smut guy who was just making her life miserable and you know, wouldn't leave her alone either. Could have said, oh, okay, I did my damage, everything's done, I'm going to leave now. No, he kept bugging her. Because he wouldn't leave her alone. I'm telling you, there's people who who, who, who want to find this guy. And they ain't going to give him a handshake and a pat on the back. They're probably going to beat the little snot out of him. And then he may be joining me that's hot in the internal. Because... These people don't care. There's fathers of 15 year old girls who are, who are hankering, you know, to make his acquaintance. Grandfathers, too. There's a guy, the guy on TV, internet, who's like a 75 year old, um, the uh, Korean War veteran, who had a 15 year old daughter who was bullied. Well, luckily, she's still here. He's like, yeah, I want, yeah, I want to make his acquaintance. He ain't gonna, ain't gonna give him a hand clap and a pat in the back, obviously. You know, this guy here, I, I pray for him every night that he turns himself into the police and just accepts whatever, you know, whatever happens to himself. Because you know, if the mob catches him, it's it's going to be like you know, freaking you know, dismembered blood and guts, and I don't want anybody to take what I'm saying as being going to do it now. Don't do it at all. Don't even look at what I'm saying. Just tell you right now. There's certain things we have to do. <clears throat> and it's too late for the man Todd, the Ties, and, and, and the Tylers. And the, and the Princes and the, and the other ones who have committed suicide over the years. It's too late for them. We cannot save them. God can't say it. Now, God justified and everything he does and righteous and I and I believe it at that. But I'm not emotional if I'm mad. I'm emotional because I'm tired of everybody jumping on the bandwagon saying how it's okay if your trouble's too bad. No. If you can't live in life then, you know, then go in your parents' room or your home, your room, lock yourself in your, in your room, and don't ever come out. Because you're going to have troubles. If everybody killed themselves with troubles, this world would be very, 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 very small. Can't pay bills today. Boom. Can't. Oh, man. I can't buy an Xbox. Boom. You know, and, and I'm, not, I'm not making fun of anybody who, you know, who killed themselves. What I'm saying is, though, if every little problem in our world came up to our world, came up to us, every time our problem came up, killed ourselves, you know, the world would be a very, very small place. And we have to think outside that box. And think and be more like, okay, I caused a problem, solve it. Now, the police didn't do that. 
to Amanda. They left her hanging. Okay, that's a real bad... Sorry, that's a real bad pun. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to... Uh, I, I apologize if I offend anybody or friends or family who watches this. Um, I mean, they left her... Without any reasons. Without any uh, answers. There you go. I just felt bad saying that. Sorry, guys. Um, but you have to look. You have to go up by while I'm looking, looking in, looking in, looking out. I'm, I'm 32 years old. I have a lot of friends. I work full time. I live home with parents. My father. Yeah. So what? You know. And then it's calling me. I can't afford to live on my own. And I make decent money, and I can't do it. Um. So that shows you how much I am. I go out and drink and find a good time. I pick on people, but, but, but mostly my friends. I, you know, I fool around with. Ah, uh, I giggle, laugh, you know, whatever. Cause that's funny to us. Man, I had no story, and it wasn't no joke. They weren't playing with her. They weren't ha-ha giggling. They were really beating down on her. And the people at school who had allowed this to happen are the same people who you're going who you're going to birthday parties with. Pizza parties and you're going to squat. She, 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 she hung herself and dangling like, like a worm on a hook. These same people are you know, dishing out the pizza at the pizza parties. At school now. Not because she's dead, because they go through life living like, oh well, you know, it's not my problem. Not my problem anymore, and maybe, and it's not the problem because she made her choice, and and I believe that everybody has the right to make their own decisions. But how dare we? How dare you? Dare all of us question this? How dare we, as a nation, community, country, a world, a planet? Say, without a bad, well, a benefit of doubt, that we have the right to judge anybody for what they do, say, where, or be. We don't. We have to better ourselves from this. This is a cry for help. And her her suicide video or video she went suicide. I thought I thought it was. I you know it was a, it was a story, but I knew that something that this girl wasn't going to be around very longer. I, I knew it that when I saw the inconclusion, of course she was already dead. But when it came out, when I saw that guy, this is some, this, this is something to cry for help. It's a clear cry for help. The last lines: "I have nobody. I, I need somebody." That's a that, that is a clear cry for help. If you can't see that, then you have blinders on in the world. Or you're the most dumbest person I ever met in my life. There's no way whatsoever you couldn't you couldn't see that. A blind man can see that. It's sad. It really is. It's a real sad day in history, my friends. When you got people allowing these teenagers to kill themselves who knew very well you know, they knew that she was on the borderline of just falling off the cliff and just never coming back and the day that she did you know and the day that she, and the day that she did it I guarantee you nobody knew about it because she posted she texted her mom said I love you don't be mad at me um and to me that's a clear sign that she was doing it and her mother could have turned around and came right home I don't think she did I think she went to work did her job not thinking anything of it not thinking that a man that would do that well her friend came home found her dangling in her room and realized that she, she, she did do it and I was over with a life extinguished on October 10th, 2012. Amanda Todd is dead. Um, I can sit here, I can cry if I want to, but it ain't gonna do any good. I can get mad and yell and scream and curse everybody. It ain't gonna help anybody because they ain't gonna bring her back to life. It's 
one thing that we have to live in this world is to live with our choices. And she made her choice. And she had to live with them. And for us to think that we have the right when she once told her mother that I love you and don't be mad at me, I knew. Because I had friends who have done it. And they had friends who done it, I mean. They had friends who committed suicide and... And I knew that, um, yeah, it was over with. She made her choice up. Probably days earlier. Probably... Not that day, probably a couple days earlier. She was picking a day to do it and she found it. And she did it. <sighs> I'm telling you, it's not, it's not, not a fun thing. You know, this story, you know, this story here, this story here. None, none of these stories you know, have happy endings. They don't. Unless, talking about the one woman who killed, who shot herself in the heart. And she went to hell. God brought her back into hell. But the bullet only grazed her heart. Didn't pin it hard. Now she's saved, telling people about suicide and how it took it to hell. That's people she should be looking to. You know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm not against music. A lot of music you listen to has talk about death and suicide. Like it's a badge of honor. So if, so if anybody's talking about suicide or thinking about it or really glorifying it for some reason... I would start talking to him about stuff. Talking about life. Love. Understanding. Be be the friend. Be close to him. Because her friend who left four hours before, if she stayed there, I can guarantee you, Amanda, maybe still alive today. Or maybe she did it maybe, maybe a week later. Maybe a month later. Maybe a year later. Maybe a day later. Maybe she, she might have well done it maybe when, when her mom was taking a shower. She could have done it. Them. Because when they decide to do it, it's very, very hard to tell people any other way. You know, you know I want to get them off that path. God Himself is the only one who can do it. Holy Spirit, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are the only people I know in this universe that can do it. I cannot do it, you cannot do it. And, he, and, he, and if you tried and they still did it anyway and you tried, well then you tried. And that's all you can say, you tried. You, you, know, you, you did your best and they still just you know, couldn't understand how precious you know, you know, they really are to people. And because of that, they're gone. And the, the ones who are gone, you, know, you have good memories of them. But then again, no, uh, they're no longer here. So you have to understand that, yes, they're dead because of the choice they made. Yes, the outcome was foreseeable with Amanda and Tyler. Ty Smitty not real well. But with Amanda and Todd and the rest of them, you knew. Because the signs were like a, like a flashing red light. It was like, ding, 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 it was going off. Like, hey, some, something wrong with one here. It's like a finger saying... Something wrong with this one here. You need, you need, you need more love to this person. And they didn't. They treat like, oh, well, it's, you know, pump with all drugs and, and, you know, no. Sometimes the Bible, the Bible does work a lot. But people don't believe it. Maybe it's being a friend there. Maybe the friend that should have been there wasn't there. Her friend that left should have stayed there. And, and let's say they did. She could, she, could, she could have gone crazy, stabbed her friend and killed herself anyway. We don't know what people, what people do when they're at, you know, at that moment in time where they don't care anymore about anything. You know, none of us know. So I'm saying, please, if you guys know anybody who's out there like that, I will literally tell you to call the police Call the guy the white coats. Not because throw them in the asylum to lock them away. But throw them in there for, uh, for their own good. Tell your parents. Tell a church pastor, police officer. Who we've got to tell? A teacher, whoever. Tell somebody. 
Don't wait until it's too late. Thanks. Peace out. God bless.